In this video, we will learn all about geometric distributions. A geometric distribution is a type of probability distribution. A geometric distribution requires a binomial experiment that is repeated multiple times. Remember that a binomial experiment is one that has only two possible outcomes. You'll either have success or failure with each trial of the experiment. The geometric distribution has to do with answering a certain type of question. And the question is, what's the probability that will, it will take a given number of trials before the first success happens? So for example, say you flip a coin and you want to know what's the probability of having to flip the coin six times before getting a heads. So that would be the type of question that has to do with a geometric distribution. So we have a formula that will help us figure out this type of probability. So the probability of needing A trials before having a success means what will happen is you actually fail A minus one times, and then on the eighth time you succeed. So the probability of A trials before success will be Q, the probability of failure, raised to the A minus one, because if we aren't succeeding until the Ath time, the first A minus one times we're failing each time. And then we multiply that by the probability of success, which is only gonna happen one time, so we don't need an exponent. And that's the formula for calculating, calculating the probability for this sort of problem. Now, a geometric distribution is an example of a probability distribution. So that means it's a graph or a table that organizes all the different possible values for A and the associated probabilities. Now, unlike a binomial distribution, there aren't a finite number of rows that will be in our geometric distribution. So for example, if we're thinking about flipping a coin, and we flip a coin and flip a coin and flip a coin, at some point we're probably gonna get heads, but it is possible to flip the coin 100 times and get tails every single time. So if we wanna think about the probability of how many trials it takes before success, there's really an infinite number of rows that we'll need in our table, but the probabilities will go basically to zero after a while because the probability of it taking that long to get heads, like a thousand times before you get heads, is basically nothing. This is what a typical table would look like for a geometric distribution. And once you make the table, you could also make use your calculator or just graph paper to help you make the graph and have it look like a histogram. Because you could technically have rows that go on forever, a lot of times in problems it will tell you how far to go. And usually it will have to do with at what point is the probability that you're getting in the right-hand column essentially zero, so it's not really affecting it anymore. If you were to go on forever and think about this as an infinite sum, then the sum still should be one. But it's possible that if you have a shorter table that doesn't include all the rows that are technically possible that your sum won't be one. But like any probability distribution, theoretically the sum will be one if you had the infinite number of rows in your table.